From this point on, I can basically copy these and then add it, make sure that it's good enough and I feel comfortable right. sharing. You're going to really love this one. So I want to create a crew of AI agents that are able to draft me a LinkedIn post. And I want this post to sound like me. So it makes way easier for me to add it later. And I spend way less time doing that before I actually have something that I want to share. So before I show you how I do the crew, let me show you how I can make it sound like me. Okay, so I put together this script that I called Analyzer. And what it does is it uses Selenium to load all my LinkedIn and my Twitter posts and just download as many of them as they can and save into a local database. So let me actually get that running. All right, so as you can see here, it opened up Selenium, it logged in as an account, and it's now going over all my tweets and recording them into a local database. So let's wait for that in a second and I can show you what that database looks like. And there we go. We have 53 LinkedIn posts and 250 tweets. So you can actually go in here and you see every LinkedIn post and every tweet that it got. So now what I wanna do is I wanna use this as training data to make an AI that sounds like me. So I have what I actually wrote. What I need now is how GPT would write this. Like the AI sounding byte that you would have. So let me show how I'm gonna go about that. So I put together this script that it basically goes over every tweet and every LinkedIn post and calls OpenAI and asks us to convert the text below into something that you would say using our own words, making sure that it's no it has no personality and return only the translation translated version and nothing else. So in the end of this, I'm gonna have both how I actually wrote the thing and how GPT would write it with like that very like AI sounding way of saying things. All right, so here you can see what the data set looks like. This is how I actually wrote it. So in this case, very excited to see other people referring and using Core AI. And this is how GPT-4 would write it. It's noted that individuals are beginning to refer and utilize Core AI. Definitely doesn't sound like me. And then here in the last column is our train prompt. So now we can fine tune a model and I'm gonna show you how I did it using auto train from Hugging Face. All right, so auto train is pretty easy to run. Once that you get it set up, you basically give a project name, you select what GPU you wanna use, and then you select what's gonna be your base model. In our case, it's OpenRMS 2.5. Then you can upload that training set and you say what is the column that it should be used to fine tune. And then you definitely gonna need to mess up with some of the hyperparameters here to make sure that you get the best results. So make sure to experiment with that. And now we have Joao Voice, OpenRMS 2.5, and you can deploy this just by clicking in here and selecting inference endpoint. And that's gonna deploy that into an endpoint. All right, so I decided to configure the screw a little different where I use a JSON file to hold all my agents in my tasks. Uh, but in here, you can see that we have four agents. We have a social media analyst, we have a content creator specialist, we have a chief content officer, and we have a senior content writer. Those four agents are gonna work together into building us the screw that draft LinkedIn posts. They have some interesting tools. You can see that they can retrieve outposts from interest profiles. This is also using Selenium to go into LinkedIn and to go into Twitter and make sure that get information from people that are marked as interesting. Uh, you can see that it retrieves like the engagements for those posts, the comments from those posts. And then it basically uses drag to tap into some files that I wrote down with what I believe is my message, what I believe is my audience, what I believe is my personality, what I believe is my positioning or my customer uh, unique value. All right, so let's review the tasks real quick. So I'll start with the social media analyst, kind of like retrieving and summarize all the recent posts from people that I said that are relevant to me or to my area. Uh, and then from that point on, it goes on and on trying to figure it out what is the angle that I could engage on that conversation? What is the unique value or the unique perspective that I would have that I could add around that topic? All right, so uh, I wrote something about what I would like to share in a new post. And that is basically, I have been really loving to record videos, showcasing people how to use Crew AI and how powerful it can be. And I basically wanna make a post about that. And it's gonna ask me like, what is the context that I wanna share? And then I can just paste the context here and press enter and now it's gonna run. So I'm gonna bring you along as this goes. You can see that the first thing that it does is look at posts from interesting people. So you can see Sully in here, Alex McCall in here. It basically summarizes them all to me and then moves into the next task that is basically selecting the top three most interesting relevant summaries. So for doing that, it's gonna actually look into my unique value. So things like having 20 years of hands-on experience, uh, being a dedicated mentor and all that. And then it's gonna look into what are my messages, what are my audiences, what is my positioning, and then basically chooses what are the three most relevant posts. From that point on, it kind of like use each summary to inspire an idea. So we have like three different ideas. So again, now it's gonna tap into my work experiences, things that I have been doing with AI agents, like co-pilots and open source. Then my life experiences around traveling, around hardships. 
and all that. So from that point on, now it's going to review those three candidate ideas, make sure that they are great and they're aligned with the customers. In this case, I'm the customer. From that point on, the chief content officer kicks in and what it does is review those idea the ideas and choose the best one out of them. So I'm going to skim through this pretty fast. All right, so this is the final post as it came out from GPT-4. So you can see that it tried to make an introduction, a body, a conclusion. And again, it sounds very much like AI. Now we can run that through our translator. Um, so let, let us do that. So I basically run it through the translator. I put the original post in here, and this is what it responded with. And here you can see that it goes back to that context that I shared to mention that I have been recording videos and sharing with others. It says, but why keep it out to myself? I have stopped recording videos to share the power of gray AI with the world. My goal is simple, to be your guide through the ever-changing landscape of the AGI. Again, kind of like a hard claim, but it's good to see that it sounds a little bit more like myself. From this point on, I can basically copy these and then add it, make sure that it's good enough and I feel comfortable sharing. All right, so th that's it. That's all I had for today. Uh, the cool thing is that this showcase how you can use Crew AI and fine-tuned models to actually help out with doing doing social media automation to some extent. And uh, it's super helpful. All right, I catch you folks online. Have a good one.